now on the private side, London Hunt down through to Mississauga Golf Club, Royal Montreal, of course, much history there with their Canadian Open. Flipping to the other side, there's the actual open course itself, the blue course at Royal Montreal. Lots to bite into, lots to sink your teeth into here, Bob, on this list. I'm going to go out to Edmonton to, uh, to Blackhawk Golf Course. Of course, it's not all that well known, I think, in the eastern part of the country, but it truly is a great test. It's kind of a weird feeling of a golf course in that it has some link style feel to it, but it's in a parkland setting for sure. Designed by Rod Whitman, the guy who was responsible for Cabot Links. And the greens here are, are, have a little bit like Cabot Links and they've got these little micro contours to them. So it's tough putting in there, but it's a really good, solid test of golf. And I think anybody who plays on this golf course will go, wow. Uh, for me, I got to look at the blue course at Royal Montreal Golf Club. I had a pleasure playing it a, a few years back. But again, we're kind of in that history category. The same reason why we talk about Glen Abbey, to have a President's Cup there, to have Canadian Opens there. There's not a lot of courses in the country that can kind of touch history that way. Of course, Tiger Woods missing a professional cut there <laughs> at the Canadian Open. That always stands out. And, and of course, losing to Mike Weir. Losing to Mike Weir. Mike Weir, our own Mike Weir, beating Tiger in singles on the President's Cup when Tiger was at his peak. What a moment in Canadian golf. Well, 